tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. The American is 32, the Canadian is 39. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, George Rush St. B. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Zayat may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. St. Pierre's has got full mount now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's now going to get blasted. Start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing. Not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. The choke. Guard here to see what does he need to do to improve position. Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Let's go. Push. 20 push. seconds left. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. 10 seconds to go. Minutes in the books. Huh? All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is.
leave space now. Okay? Do not be content to fight when he's grabbing you. I need you to avoid. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. And the jab there, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, that's a good strike there by George St. Pierre. The takedown is not there. Straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight oh. he is. What a fantastic strike. He's hurt. He's hurt. certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not... Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Oh, nice job using this, and he's out. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice hammer fist. It's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to St. Pierre's attempting to rear naked choke now. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjusted the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. submission there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up well i'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered but we do see the end of the round dc talk us through the replay well he's a tough guy he's going to make it to the stool he's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there unfortunately he's in there with a guy that does have that ability You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, he's got that right hand going. Oh! He's hurt bad. Good stick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Whoa! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now.
So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Alrighty, close. Cool. Point of the third and final round. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Beautiful movement. Hip That'll do it. Hunting steps in. Oh my goodness! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win,